हेलो बच्चों कैसे हो होप एवरी वन इज फाइन एंड डूइंग ग्रेट मस्ती के साथ साथ पढ़ाई भी करते होंगे वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल विथ थलम अकेडमी विच इज़ एन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग प्लेटफॉर्म माई सेल्फ भावेश पटेल आज हम लोग टाइम के बारे में बात करेंगे थ्रू दिस वीडियो यू विल बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कन्वर्ट डिफरेंट यूनिट्स ऑफ टाइम सो लेट्स बिगन अवर लर्निंग जर्नी Normally, clock has two hands: a longer hand and a shorter hand. Longer hand is called minute hand, and shorter hand is called as hour hand. Minute hand moves from one small division to next small division in one minute. The minute hand goes one round in one hour. Therefore. Minute hand covers sixty small divisions in one hour, and hence one hour equals to sixty minutes. While the hour hand moves from one number to next number in one hour, and the hour hand takes twelve hours to complete one round, and it takes two full rounds of the clock in a day, and therefore one day equals to twenty-four hours. in many clocks apart from hour hand and the minute hand there is a third hand known as a second hand the second hand makes a full round in 1 minute and the time in which it moves between two successive small division is known as 1 second and therefore 60 seconds equals to 1 minute now let's understand relationships of units of time so 60 seconds equals to 1 minute same way 60 minutes equals to 1 hour yeah we'll say 1 hour equals to 60 minutes 24 hours makes 1 day 7 days makes 1 week 14 days means it's a 1 fortnight 12 months equals to 1 year and 365 days equals to also 1 year but in a leap year there is a 366 days so 366 days equals to 1 leap year so these are the different units and their relationships among each other now let's understand conversion of higher units into lower units let's let's take one example convert 5 days into hours now we know one day equals to how many hours yes it is 24 hours therefore 5 days equals to 5 multiplied by 24 hours and 24 5 is 120 so it is 120 hours so 5 days equals to 120 hours Let's take another example. Convert three days, sixteen hours, into hours. So three days, sixteen hours means it is three days plus sixteen hours. And we know one day equals to twenty-four hours. Therefore, if I convert three days into hours. we will multiply by 24 so it is 3 into 24 hours plus 16 hours and 24 3 is a 72 so 72 hours plus 16 hours now we can add up here we cannot add 3 plus 16 19 hours because the units are different but here yes we can add 72 plus 16 that is 88 hours let's understand another example convert 15 hours into minutes we know 1 hour is equals to 60 minutes therefore 15 hours equals to 
15 multiplied by 60 and unit hours becomes minutes and 15 into 60 is 15 6 and 90 and then there is a zero so 900 minutes let's take another example convert 7 hours 45 minutes into minutes so 7 hours 45 minutes is nothing but 7 hours plus 45 minutes and we know relations between hours and minutes 1 hour equals to 60 minutes and 7 hours equals to 7 multiplied by 60 minutes plus remainder that is 45 minutes and 60 sevens are 420 minutes plus 45 minutes now we can add up because the units are same so 420 plus 45 is 465 minutes let's take one more convert one day 6 hours 30 minutes into minutes so one day 6 hours 30 minutes is nothing but one day plus 6 hours plus 30 minutes so first let us convert day into hours we know one day equals to 24 hours so one day equals to 24 hours plus 60 hours 6 hours plus 30 minutes therefore it is 24 hours plus 6 hours plus 30 minutes now we can add up these two because units are same so 24 plus 6 that is 30 hours plus 30 minutes now let us convert these hours into minute we know one hour equals to 60 minutes so let us multiply 30 multiply by 60 and hours converted to minutes plus 30 minutes so 30 multiplied by 60 is 1800 minutes plus 30 minutes equals to 1830 minutes let's take the another example convert 6 minutes into seconds we know 1 minute equals to how many seconds it is 60 seconds therefore 6 minutes equals to 6 multiplied by 60 seconds that is 360 seconds let's understand one more convert 10 minutes 24 seconds into seconds so 10 minutes 24 seconds is nothing but 10 minutes plus 24 seconds let us convert minute into second what is the relations it is 1 minute equals to 60 seconds so 10 into 60 seconds plus 24 seconds 10 into 60 is 600 seconds plus 24 seconds equals to 624 seconds let's understand one more convert 2 hours 15 minutes 20 seconds into seconds so 2 hours 15 minutes 20 seconds is nothing but it is 2 hours plus 15 minutes plus 20 seconds and first let us convert hour into minutes so 2 hours ko minute mein convert karte hai to 1 hour equal to 60 minutes that's why it is 2 into 60 and unit will be minutes plus 15 minutes plus 20 seconds now let us simplify 2 into 60 is 120 minutes plus 15 minutes equals to plus 20 seconds now let us sum this to 120 plus 15 because units are same so it is 135 minutes and the remainder 20 seconds now let's convert these minutes into second one minute equals to 60 seconds that that's why 135 into 60 seconds plus 20 seconds and 135 6 are 810 and then there is a zero that's why it is 8100 seconds plus 20 seconds equals to 8120 seconds let's take another one convert four years seven months into months so four years seven months is nothing but four years plus seven months and one year or months ke bich mein relation kya hai to one year equals to 12 months that's why let's multiply 4 by 12 so 4 multiplied by 12 years converted to months plus 7 months 12 fours are 48 48 months plus 7 months let us add up 48 plus 7 it is 55 months 
let's understand one more convert 3 weeks 4 days into days so 3 weeks 4 days is nothing but 3 weeks plus 4 days here we cannot add up because reason kya hai kyunki dono ka units are different we cannot make 7 weeks or 7 days units are different so first let's make in the same unit we have to convert into days so one week equals to seven days not 17 days here there is a mistake one week equals to seven days so that's why let's multiply three into seven days plus four days so three into seven 21 days plus four days it is 25 days so this is how you can convert higher units into lower units now let's understand how to convert lower units into higher units let's understand with some example convert 750 minutes into hours and minutes so we know 60 minutes equals to one hour therefore 750 minutes equals to we will divide 750 divided by 60 and minutes becomes hours let's do division 750 is a dividend 60 is a divisor so 60 ones are pehle 75 tak karte hai to 60 ones are 60 15 we have to do subtraction so 75 minus 60 is a 15 let's bring down this zero so 15 becomes 115, 62 is 120. So it is 150 minus 120. The difference subtraction is 30. Hence 750 divided by 60 equals to quotient becomes hours that is 12 hours and remainder 30 becomes minutes. So it is 12 hours and 30 minutes. Hence answer is 750 minutes equals to 12 hours and 30 minutes. Let's understand one more. Convert 2146 seconds into minutes and seconds. We know 60 seconds equals to 1 minute. Therefore, 2146 seconds equals to we will divide by 60 and seconds becomes minute. Let's do division 2146 divided by 60 so first three digit we will talk so 63 is a 180 so 214 minus 180 is nothing but 34 is a remainder let's continue the division process bring down that 6 34 becomes 346 65 is a 300 and the remainder is 46 difference is 46 hence Quotient is minutes, that is 35 minutes, and remainder 46, that remains seconds. Therefore, the answer is 2146 seconds equals to 35 minutes and 46 seconds. Chalye, or example ek example hai. Convert 758 hours into days and hours. We know 24 hours equals to 1 day. Therefore, 758 hours equals to? Yes, 758 divided by 24 and that hours converted to days. Let's do division 758 by 24. So, first we'll talk about 75. 24 threes are 72. And 75 minus 72 is 3. Let's bring down that. 8 so 3 becomes 38 24 1s are 24 so 38 minus 24 remainder is 14 therefore quotient is days 31 days and remainder will remain hours so 31 days and 14 hours therefore 758 hours equals to 31 days and 14 hours Next, let's go for another one. Convert 205 days into weeks and days. So, 7 days equals to 1 week. 
Therefore, 205 days equals to 205 divided by 7 and days becomes weeks. So 205 divided by 7, 7, 2's are 14, remainder is 6. Let us bring down 5, so 6 becomes 65 and 9, 7's are 3, 63, remainder is 2, 65 minus 63 is 2, so quotient is weeks, so it is 29 weeks plus remainder remains days, so 29 weeks and 2 days, hence 205 days equals to 29 weeks and 2 days. So this is how you can convert lower units to the higher units. So let's summarize what we have learned through this video. Things to be remembered. 1 minute equals to 60 seconds. 1 hour equals to 60 minutes. 1 day equals to 24 hours, 1 week equals to 7 days, 1 fortnight equals to 14 days, 1 year equals to 12 months equals to 365 days and 1 leap year equals to also 12 months but 366 days, 1 day more. So this is what we have learned and we learned how to convert the different units of time. Now, at the end, I am giving you an exercise to do practice by yourself. This exercise contains questions from how to convert the different units of the time, which just now we have learned through this video. It will help you to build up your confidence about the concepts learned through this video. If you have skipped any of the topic, my suggestion, you first understand that topic and then after attempt this exercise. Remember, maths can be learned through practice only and if you practice it without repeated error, maths will be very simple subject for you. So that's all about conversion of different units of time. Once again, myself Bhavesh Patel from Vithalam Academy. For any query, doubt, suggestions, you can reach us via mail. Our mail ID is vithalamacademy at the red gmail.com. That is V-I-T-T-H-A-L-M-A-C-A-D-E-M-Y at the red gmail.com. So thank you. And wish you all the best.